Tabby Cosplay speaking, and today we are going to be looking at Water Tower Way. It is a charming lot situated on the edge of town with a natural backdrop and suburban vibes. Perfect view of the famous Copperdale Water Tower. Wow, it is really pretty. I love the outside of this uh, house. It is worth $58,000. $107. It is a 20 by 15 lot, so it's not very uh, big. It's actually the lot itself is small, but the house is great. It is considered to have three stories, and y'all see uh, real soon we get up in there. It's got three bedrooms and three bathrooms, and it is owned by the Harjo family. This particular lot was also built by a man or woman named Griffey. I think that's pretty cool. This was not built by EA. This was built by um, someone else. So let's take a look at it. This should be really cool to see. All right, let's go inside. It's raining today. I thought about postponing this, <laughs> this house video until the weather cleared, but I said, let's go for it anyway. Look at this front room. It is nice. I love the shape of it. You can kind of tell the houses that are not made by EA. <laughs> it's like, it looks better. <laughs> okay, so this looks really nice. You can see the stairs. It's really nice and decorated. I love the shape. Um, the television view is like right there. You can see exactly where you need to go. And I love all of the, um, the intricateness of the design. It's not boring. Not at all with all those walls. You have something to do. So we wash our hands as we always do and check out this bathroom. It's kind of small, but nice for a first story uh, bathroom. You can't fit anything in here. Like you won't be able to even get a, a tub or a shower and it's pretty small, but it's a quick bathroom. But you come home from work and gotta run in. <laughs> this is the dining room, but we'll go back to that later. I had to go upstairs first. All right, so we can go upstairs. Got a little place to sit right there. Like it's cute. And check out our first be uh, bedroom. I believe it's like the parents' bedroom. I love those the window shape. It's kind of like a bow window or bay window. Really cute. It's a little tight for a master bedroom, though. If this is the master bedroom. But it'd be cute for just, uh, you know, mom and dad. And see your clothes. All right. And let's check out this little place right here. This is cute. A communal place to be on the computer. Where everybody can just go and access with no problem. I like that. If you got more money, though, you can put a, uh, <laughs> a computer in every room. This is the upstairs bathroom. As you can see, it's a significantly uh, bigger. Way bigger. Look at that. You got a tub and a shower. I like how it's nicely situated. Got a little robe. Oh, it's cute. That's nice decorating. The road matches the rug. That is cute. And we got our teenager room. This is, see, I love decoration. It's not boring at all. It's a lot going on here. Do you see how nice this is? You got everything just flowing perfectly. And the red color is nice and bold, matching the curtains, which is next to the bed. The red with the posters. And you got your backpack. It's very cleverly done very cleverly done okay let's go downstairs and let's finally check out the kitchen and the dining room so our kitchen is kind of on the small side uh that's what makes the price not so expensive because the house is big but when you got a small kitchen like that you know and the appliances are kind of on the old side it's going to be a little bit cheaper so i thought we'd make some nice minty green muffins <laughs> Yeah, like I said, the, oh, look at the aprons. There's no door to this kitchen either. But you see the little aprons? That is so cute. So you got our nice minty muffins. And I want to show the dining room. This is a nice place to eat at. But I want to show another feature too at this house. We're going to eat uh, twice here. Okay, look at these mints. Aren't they cute? Yes. Mm, ate that all in one bite. <laughs> That is really good. All right. 
Now, this I take one last look at the kitchen because it's it's cute, but I want to go outside. Now it's raining. I was thinking about not going out, but I said, you know what? I gotta show y'all this outdoor area. This outdoor area is so well put together. And look at the new food we get to have. It's called blue steak. I was like, blue steak, look, it's medium rare or fully rare. I was so, I was like, that looks good. I gotta show y'all guys what this look like. And the outdoor eating area is almost more fun to eat. Oh, look, the rain stops. It's almost more fun to eat out here than it is to eat inside. It's really nice. This is gonna be great for parties. Mmm, that steak is great. I'm gonna actually finish it out here and look around. And look how high the um the fence is, you know? What do, what's the old saying? Uh good fence makes good neighbors. <laughs> so yeah, you got a nice high fence. Mmm, that steak was, was great. I mean, it was great. And because this house doesn't belong to me, I gotta wash up after myself. Whenever it's a family that is letting me see their house, I always wash the dishes. If it's an empty lot or a house that doesn't have anybody in it yet, I don't wash the dishes. I leave it. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be cool. I want to show the basement. Now it's rare that you have a well done basement in a um pre made house in The Sims, but this basement is so cute. Uh, it's a nice space for I believe it belongs to a teenager, one of the teenagers that live in this house, and they get their own bathroom. Look at this bathroom; it's actually really nice. The basement bathrooms is bigger than I expected. I thought it'd be a lot smaller. And a little rug. But you get a tub and a shower here. And the rug is so cute. All right, and check out this bedroom. Look at this. The colors are so cute. The lavender purple with the lavender bed and all the posters decoration. It is nice. This is really well done. For a basement um, room, I, I think it's better looking than some of the ones at the top. And I gotta show you the feature that I have not seen in any other house. I just haven't seen it in any other house. Look at this. This outdoor area. You're outside right now. Now, of course, because you're in the basement, you can't really see the sky. It's kind of just uh, blackness. But you are outside right now. That's why you can grow a little plant out here. That personal space is so well done. I love it. Let's go upstairs. And what's cool is they even gave you a way to access the outdoors from the basement so you don't feel trapped, which is really nice. And of course, there's your outdoor. Like I said, you are, you're outside. A little path. This house is really well done. It's super cute. I think any uh, some family will love it. Even on a rainy day. That's going to try to wait, but even on a rainy day, it's cute, right? Okay, guys. So that's basically it. Rain came back. And... <laughs> I'm going to talk to y'all later. I hope y'all enjoy it. It's called The Water Tower Way and it's in Copperdale. So let me know what y'all think. Okay. Bye. <laughs>